Hello everyone, welcome back to Gitroy Tips and in this video we are going to talk about how to fix Assassin Creed Mirage is launched right now and it is having crashing issue, it is not launching won't launch, freezing, stuttering, lagging low FPS drop, stuck on loading screen and even the black screen which is happening for many of users right now and how we can fix it so I bought the game from the Epic Games launcher. It is both available in both Epic Games as well as from the Ubisoft. So I bought the game on Epic Games launcher. For me, the game was fine. And some of the users is having the issues. So we're gonna address how to fix this up. So let's dive into the workaround one by one. The first one is all about when you're having this trouble, we have to do a simple restart on your system. So just go over here in the start, click on this particular icon, go over here in the power icon and go for a simple restart. Once restart is done, try launching the game and you can uh, you know sometimes a simple restart can fix a lot of issue so you can start with a simple restart next one is all about we have to verify integrity of game file for this we just need to go over here in the big games launcher so just click on this three dot menu over here just click on this one and now go to manage now from here we have three option verify files create a desktop shortcut installation and the launch option so first we have to click on the verify game file. So what happens is this will cross check the files of the game. And if any files are corrupted and if any files are missing and all these kind of issues will be fixed by this. This is a very important step and should not be neglected this at any cost. So the verify integrity of game file is actually a very important step that we have to keep in mind. And once the verify integrity of game file is successfully done, we just need to try launching the game and we have to check whether the issue is solved or not. Next one is all about, we have to restart the Epic Games Launcher or you can uh, close the game and we have to open the Epic Games Launcher once again. So this even worked for Steam users for the Steam games, but that is why I'm recommending you can do the same. So if you're on the game, just close the game. Once you close the game, you just need to go over here and close the Epic Games Launcher. Now do a restart on the PC and once afterwards, we just need to go back to the Epic Games Launcher once again. And it will be like a fresh start and once afterwards just go over here in the library then we just need to try launch the game and you have to see whether the issue is solved or not next one is all about we have to launch the game from the installation folder this even worked for many of the users in my knowledge for many games both in the epic games launcher steam and even for the ubisoft so you can try this out sometimes when you are launching the game from the respective particular app we, it will not be working out so that is the case so we need to launch the game from the installation folder so just click over here in the game three dot menu then just go to the manage option now from here there is an option called this particular icon just click on this one so that will redirect you to the installation folder that is this pc new volume d and assassin's creed mirage so now from here you have to launch the game so this is the ac mirage so just launch the game from here so this will be working in most cases because uh, for me, when it comes to the games like, you know, I have to say uh, Remnant 2, Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart, even for New World, even for the Cyberpunk uh, 2077, the new DLC, it all worked for them in the Steam. For me, when it comes to the Epic Games, it worked for uh, this one, the Crew, the Motorfest 2, it did work for them, so you can try this one as well. So just launch the game and you have to see whether the issue is solved or not. Still, if you're having the issue, we just need to run the game as an administrator. So just go over here in the game, right click, and we have to go over here in the show more options. We have to go to the properties. Now from here, go to the compatibility. Now click on run this program as an administrator. We have to click on run this program as an administrator, and we have to go for apply, and we have to go for OK. And once you're done with this one, you have to check whether the issue is solved or not. This is very important. We have to run the game as an administrator, which is very important. Next one is all about if that is not working, we have to run the game in the compatibility mode. And it even did work for many users. We can try this one as well. For this, what we need to do is we just need to do the same. Just go over here, right click, and we have to go to the show more options. We have to go to the properties, go to compatibility, click on run this program and compatibility mode. And we have to set this to Windows 7 or Windows 8. First, go for Windows 7 and go for apply and go for OK. If that is not the case, we have to go for Windows 8, go for apply and go for OK and try launch the game and we have to see whether the issue is solved or not. If still after trying with this, if the issue is still there, we can move to the next step. Next step is all about nothing but what we need to do is we just need to make sure the date, time and region should be correct. So just go over here in the search. We have to go over here in the settings, just search for settings like this. 
go over here in the settings now from here go to the time and language go for date and time make sure the time and time zone should be correct we just need to go back and go to the language and region over here make sure the country is correct so if you're from united states select united states if you're from united kingdom you have to select united kingdom and try working on this as well next one is all about nothing but you can also try with the next step that is all about we have to press alt and tab this is for the steam users not for you guys so uh, we are in the epic games launcher so it's not much important next one is we need to delete the saved game file so just go over here in the file explorer now go to documents and over here you will be able to find as you can see the crew 2 the crew motor first will be able to find the game if not here we have to go to my games and you will be able to find the folder for the assassin creed mirage and if you find the folder you have to delete the folder keep in mind when you do this you will be losing everything the every progressions of the game will be losing so you have to keep in mind so try with this because it even worth a lot because it worked so you can try this out as well next one step you can try out apart from this is all about we have to allow the game to windows security so just go over here in the search we have to go over here in the control panel search for control panel now from here we have to go over here and go to system and security go for windows defender firewall go for allow and app or feature through windows defender firewall keep scrolling down and navigate to assassin creed mirage so right now as you can see the assassin creed mirage is already added make sure the private and public has to be selected which is very important so if this is not imagine the game is not here then what we can do that comes under the question so just click on the change settings and we have to go for allow another app we have to go to the browse go to this pc we have to go to new volume d go to assassin creed mirage and from here we have to select this one and go for open and we have to add it so once you add it you're done with this one if the game is not there by default you have to add it by uh, by this if the game is there make sure the private and public has to be selected and once you add the game to windows security you have to check the issue is solved it or not and if you're still having the issue next move to the next step that is all about we have to close overlay application that is we just need to go over here right click and we have to go to the task manager now if you expand this you can see there are a lot of things running in the background right there are a lot of things in the sense there are 54 apps running in the background so all these things are actually utilizing the performance and that is why we are having the crashing issue when you are launching the game because at the same time simultaneously the game is getting launched up at the same time these things are running up this that is why we are having the issue so it is quite important that we have to do this app so what you need to do is what we need to do is we just need to do like this that you know you have to keep in mind so if you find anything like Discord, Riva Tuner, MSA Afterburner, all these are one of the main reasons why we are having the crashing issue. All these things has to be removed from here. That is very important. And once you're done with this one, we just need to go over here and close this and we have to go back, try launching the game. Next one is all about we have to unplug all the external or multiple USB uh, controllers if it's connected. For example, you might be connected with multiple controllers, remove it. If any additional things are connected, remove it. So uh, launch the game and once the game is successfully launched and you are into the game, you can, uh, you know, try connect it back and continue playing the game. Uh, I found this from Reddit and it worked for many users in my knowledge. So uh, some of the users even mentioned it helped them. So that is why I'm sharing. You can try this out as well. Next one is all about we have to perform a clean boot. So for this, we just need to go over here in the search. We have to go for system configuration. Now from here, we have to go to the services. Go for disable all, go for hide all Microsoft services and go for apply and go for OK. They're going to ask you restart. So if you're if the system, if you're on the restart, I mean, if you're, uh, you know, the users who are watching this go for restart, but I'm going to go for exit without restart because we're in the middle of shooting with OBS. So that's why I'm, I'm canceling this. So the users have to go for restart. Once the restart is successfully done, we just need to try and we have to see whether the issue is solved or not. Next one is all about nothing but what we need to do is we just need to move to the next one that is all about we need to disable uh, you know the steam overlay that is not here for uh, the epic games launcher we can also try giving the command options in the uh, you know launch option so just go over here in this particular icon now go to the manage so enable this and you have to give the commands the launch option so you can try with the command dx11 we can try with dx11 and you can try with dx11 and check whether the issue is solved or not if dx11 is not working you can try with giving the command dx12 and check whether the issue is solved or not this is very important should not be neglected in this so you can try this up next one is all about we have to 
uh, run the game on dedicated graphics card so just go over here in the search go for graphics settings search over here now from here we have to scroll down and click on the browse now from here go to this pc now go to new volume d now go to assassin creed mirage and select the game and go for add so right now the game is added so just click on the option make sure this is being set into high performance and make sure when it is running it is nvidia geoforce gtx 1650 super so once you save this just go for save once everything is fine just close this and we have to go back try launching the game next one is all about what we need to do is we just need to increase the virtual memory so just go over here in the search we have to search for view advanced system settings go for advanced go for settings advanced once again go for change make sure you have to select the local disk so i'm on d i have to select this one and make sure this is unchecked if you check check this you will not be able to select the local disk so select the local disk where the game is installed go for custom size give the value for initial size and the maximum size so we need a calculator because uh, we need to do a calculation so just type your ram the users has to type your ram in my case it is 32 gb that is why i'm typing this and you have to multiply it with 1024 that brings you this and multiply with 1.5 that brings you this particular value and copy this and we have to paste it let me paste this same way type 32 gb multiply it with 1024 and we have to multiply it with 3 that is 98304 that is for the maximum size we have to paste it go for ok and try launch the game that will be working fine as well next one is all about what we need to do is we just need to update the graphics card so i'll be providing a link in the description to both nvidia as well as for the amd the NVIDIA users has to go over here. Now from here you have to select everything like a product type, product series, product operating system, etc. Go for Windows 11. Select every details and go for start search. Now when you go for start search, you will be able to find it. Now over here 5.37.42 is the driver version. So which is released on September 21, 2023. Download this one, install, restart is mandatory. If you're on the AMD, just go over here, select every details over here. And from here we have to go for submit. Now from here, if you're on the submit, we have to go over here. If you're on Windows 11, download this one. If you're on Windows 10, download this one. We can also try installing the Microsoft Visual C++. It worked for many users as well. So just go to this link, which I'll be providing in the link in the description. So if you're on the x86 based PC, download this one. If the system is based on x64 type, just download this one, install. Restart is a mandatory and try launch the game. The last and the least one is all about we need to uh, you know update the windows so just go over here in the search we have to go over here in the settings just go over here in the windows update and just check for update and make sure the windows is up to date which is very important once you update the windows is fine you have to try launching the game afterwards because we have to make sure the windows is up to date when it comes to these kind of games once afterwards try launch the game next one is all about the last and the least one we have to uninstall the game and we have to reinstalling it back it worked for many users you can try this one as well for this what we need to do is we just need to uh, just do like this that is nothing but we have to go over here click on this three dot icon now from here go to uninstall option and if you can go to the manage you'll be getting uninstall option so you can uninstall the game and keep in mind when you're reinstalling it back so right now the game is on d so it should not be back on d you can try with either e or c not on d and that is what you have to do so these are the possible workarounds and we hope this video is helpful and if you find this video helpful don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more notification see you soon in the next video peace out bye bye